Is cuddling only spooning in your mind? Have you wondered, okay, so I'm gonna do this cuddling thing but have no idea what to do. This book, The Cuddle Sutra, yay! An unabashed celebration of the ultimate intimacy by Rob Grader is a fantastic book to get you started on what is cuddling, what does it look like, how fun can it be? And I'm here to go through 30 days of touch. So I'm gonna go through this book um, kind of one by one, sometimes in sections because some of them kind of are, are a little similar, and explain to you what I do, what it looks like, and of course it's in cartoon form, so it's a lot of fun. And if something that you can think about as well, um, in order to release oxytocin, like to begin that process of creating it in your body, you need to have at least 20 seconds of touch, of non-stop touch. So these positions all allow for that to happen, at least 20 seconds. And so this introducing this 30 days of touch um, during the month of October, yay, um, you'll become an expert in touch like I do. And so when I, each day, I'll try as much as I can to like stay um, one, one day at a time, I'll be going through the different options. So there's different categories. There is um, standing positions. That's kind of like we're used to a hug. So like how do you expand on a hug? There is seated position, so think about on a couch. There's ways you can engage touch there and be like cozy. There, um, um, let me think. There is lying down, of course, like what we consider as cuddling, like lying in bed. There's a lot, just like over 20 of those different positions. And then there's walking and touching, which I think for some of us, we need to get out there and get some, you know, get our bodies moving, get that lymphatic system going. We need some walking and we can touch at the same time. And of course, you get to make up new ones because body sizes are different, right? So um, maybe like you have some stuff going on and you, you just like this position doesn't work, like the ones I'm gonna show. So maybe you create a, create a totally new position for you and the person you wanna touch. Also, um, there's different body parts, right? So maybe you wanna emphasize and get closer to the face. Maybe you create one that's like, it's in near the face or maybe near your back. So we'll get, look at all of the different ways we can modify the positions that I'll be exploring with you. And let me think real quick. Like, who can you do these positions with? What kind of people out there um, would you want to engage in touch with? Let's go down the list. Uh, friends, right? Like, this is platonic touch. This is not something that's going towards anything sexual. So in platonic touch, you can do that with your friends, with extended family members, you can do that with your lovers, uh, maybe that's a spouse or um, somebody you're in a relationship with or multiple people you're in a relationship with. Um, you can do that with your children, young and old. Like if you have adult children, that's great. If you have little ones, these all work there. Um, and you can do it with professionals like me. So if you're wanting to come and see me, as I start collecting all these videos, find the one that works for you. Find the one that feels good for you to try out. You just need to ask, that's it. Simple as that, just ask for the touch that you're looking for. And as I do these, um, yeah, you'll get an idea. And I think the, the test to know if it's like going sexual or not, if you're comfortable with your mother, daughter, or grandmother walking in when you're engaging in this touch and you're comfortable with them seeing, then I think you're all right. I think that's platonic. Um, and you know what, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with using this touch to move things into the sexual realm. So I wanna definitely acknowledge that. Um, but so often we really lack in just platonic touch. We like really are, are dying for touch that has no expectations, no pressure, um, and no performance required. Like other than just getting into the position, that's all you gotta do. And just breathe, don't, yeah, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> so um, one last thing about this book that I thought was really important uh, that you all need to know. I do have some, like, there's pros to this book and there are cons. There's some things I do not like. Um, and I just wanna make sure the disclaimer is out there so that you know how I feel about it. Some pros. There are people with different skin colors. Let me see if I can find. Well, he's a little browner. I'm assuming that's a he. Um, oh, there's one. Oh, actually, I'm getting all the white people suddenly. Where are they? <laughs> so, sorry. Oh, he's a little darker. So that's really great. Like I really appreciated seeing people that looked, yeah, that's that looked like me, right? Like that's important to me. 
people look like me. So I think that is a definite pro with this book. It is funny. Like I, you don't even need to actually, you don't need to read it to get the benefits, but if you do read it, it's hilarious. I think it's um, enjoyable to read. It's really fun to read with somebody else because this makes you laugh. And the last thing, um, the creativity of the names. There is one that's 68 and a half. I'll let that just settle for a second. 68 and a half. I hope you know what that's insinuating. It's super cute. Um, the names are great and it just helps to kind of solidify those positions. Now here are the things I don't like about the book that I'd like to, of course, disclaim as well. It is so heteronormative and what that means is that it's all heterosexual couples. At least it looks that way, um, presenting male and female. And so, yeah, you're gonna see what looks like a man and a woman in most of the, and all of the positions. And I'm disappointed by that. Um, it is also very, it feels sometimes really gendered. Like sometimes the positions, it looks like it's the man, usually the one doing the caregiving of the female. Um, I'm not okay with all that because in my work, I do both those roles. But you know, I understand for the purposes here, they had to choose like, you know, one, one way, like, yeah. So that's um, the way in which gender is used isn't always comfortable for me. I mean, again, there could be some people, obviously I don't know the people that they drew. There could be some people that are um, gender queer and I don't know, but like, it just, you can kind of get the sense. The body sizes, they're all pretty thin. And that's really disappointing because that I can definitely say like, I don't look like anybody. These bodies don't look like any, like my body. And so it doesn't allow for um, ideas around like, well, what would this look like if, you know, it was a plus size person or um, a person had a disability. Like, just so you can think about that as well and yeah, check in with yourself. That again, modifications may be required. Age diversity is kind of, kind of bad too. Like I don't see anybody with like gray hair or people that look like they're older. Um, like my partner is someone who is fully gray. So like, you know, things like that. Like I don't see someone that kind of looks like him and looks like pretty much younger people. And of course, lastly, this book is not created, is not the manual for my work. Um, there are other cuddle organizations that use this as their manual. This is not was not created to be the manual, the thing, and it's the best thing we have. So like, I'm totally grateful for that. Um, but it's not, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's great, it's a great tool and that's why I use it. Um, but it is kind of geared more towards lovers and partners and like relationships. So um, I just let people know this, eh, just skip over that and just look at the positions and it's great. Um, and I think that's, those are my pros and cons. So before you go, I definitely want to introduce one of the topics that I already, I haven't even said it, that, that they have a whole section, so it's broken up in sections and they're um, usually, I want to introduce the hand touch today. So hand touch is usually, you know, we give, we give handshakes. This is very common. Most of us are really comfortable with a handshake but there are other ways to experience touch with the hands. And imagine not just doing a handshake, but like a hold, right? Where you hold someone's hand for a while. So take a look at these. We have the pinky play. So that is something that I think most of us don't think about. We did this back in third grade, little pinky promise kind of thing. But when you're walking, when you're touching someone, maybe this is as far as you can go. Pinky play is great. Like you can begin here. If you are uncomfortable with touch, maybe this is where you begin. It's perfect. Stay here if that is what you can you can do. The next level would be the Velcro touch. Maybe this is after your pinky play. This is probably the next place you can go as well. Um, it's not as intimidating as a full handshake, but it just allows it allows at least when I imagine myself being the one on top. It allows me to feel taken care of and cared for and I can rest my hand in someone else so that can be um, very comforting for some and one of my favorites and I do this one in most of my sessions this last one is the weave um, the weave is awesome this is the one that I feel really connects me with the person I'm with it allows me to show that I care about them that we're intertwined that we are one that we know like I, I know them they know me super intimate for me it, it has a lot of meaning and when I say the word intimate it's just, I feel like I really connect with that person on a, on a deeper level we don't usually do this type of hold for anyone so it's it does um, this place trust and care 
So there you go. I give you some for today and watch, keep watching here for every day learning a new position. And of course, of course, as always, ask if you like something, if you want to do pinky play with someone, just say, hey, could I, can we, can when I hold your pinky with my pinky? That's completely legitimate. Like it's, let's just, just ask and see what happens in your life. And if you don't know how to do it and you're kind of anxious around it, come see me. I'm in San Antonio, Texas, and I'm Janet Trevino. Take care, y'all.